the picturesque capital of the Bahamas, Nassau, is ready to stage the quarterfinals of the CONCACAF Beach Soccer Championships for 2023. The Malcolm Park Beach Soccer Facility is hosting for the third time in its history, and the fluffy white sand is set for the first blockbuster in the knockout stages. The United States of America versus Costa Rica, two-time champions against the two-time finalists. Pitch conditions are perfect. 83 degrees Fahrenheit, just a 5% chance of rain. And the wind, yeah, nice and breezy at the moment, 16 miles per hour. This is how the bracket looks. The United States will play Costa Rica in the first semifinal. The second will see El Salvador, the defending champions, coming up against Guatemala. And then the third semifinal, the 2017 champions, Panama, against the host, the Baja Boys, Bahamas. And then El Tri, Mexico, the four-time champions, coming up against the Soka Warriors in the final quarterfinal of the evening, Trinidad and Tobago. That is how the bracket looks. En route to the final. Two places in the FIFA World Cup in the United Arab Emirates, November 2023. It's the 10th edition of this tournament, dating back to September 2006, where it was first staged on the shores of Costa Rica. Only five teams competed, and the trophy was lifted by the United States. They have met on seven occasions, the United States leading that head-to-head 5-2, with both victories from Costa Rica being the first and the last time the teams met. How interesting is that? What will today hold? Supporters from both teams in the house. And the quarterfinals promise to be mouth-watering. for the playing of the national anthem of the United States of America followed by the national anthem of Costa Rica.
The United States against Costa Rica. United States champions in 2006 and in 2013. Costa Rica runners up in 2009 and 2015. 19 goals scored for Costa Rica in the first round. 22 goals scored by the United States. Two high profile teams. And both are ready. United States coming out of Group C, Costa Rica out of Group A. This is how the U.S. will line up. Francis Ferroboroff, their coach. Christopher Toth in goal. Nicolas Pereira, Nick Pereira, their captain and leading goal scorer in the tournament. Connor Resende and Gabriel Silveira, who has three goals so far in the tournament. Our officials, and there are four of them. Jorge Tunan from Panama. Gulmercindo Batista from Panama as well, and Mario Nava from Mexico. The timekeeper, Anissa Albury from the Bahamas. The captains, Gretchen Pacheco and Nicolas Pereira. So far, six goals on the tournament for Pereira, just two for Pacheco. And this is how his team will line up. Grevin Pacheco, they're coached by Shedron Gro, Boston Medina in between the sticks, Christian Prado, Lonis Calero, the tournament's leading goal scorer with eight goals, Grevin Pacheco, the captain, of course, and Jonathan Sanchez, who wears their number 10, has one goal in the tournament. The last time they met on the 19th of May, 2021, in the group stages, Costa Rica got the better of the United States by five goals to four. Raven Pacheco on that day with a hat-trick. As well as Flandert Arrieta. And Jonathan Sanchez got the other. Here we go. The quarterfinal stage. The U.S. have the ball. Three periods of 12 minutes each with a three minute interval in between if the teams are all square after that we go to three minutes extra time and if needed the penalty shootout only once in their history of these two teams gone to penalties and it came in 2011 in the group stages Three all after full time and extra time, and the United States won one nil on penalties. Silvera back to Toth. Toth has already scored once in the tournament. Nice block. Here goes Lunis Calero, who majority of the matches has come off the bench, Calero. This time he's given the start. He is the leading goal scorer in the tournament with eight goals. Captain Pacheco, now 37 years of age, Raven Pacheco. He has scored four goals against the United States in his history. The Greener strike is way over the top. Dustin Medina. Costa Rica, two victories from their three matches. Their one loss came at the hands of the defending champions, El Salvador, where they lost 7 1. That was in their final group game. 
They had wins over Guadeloupe 8 5 and 10 2 against the Turks and Caicos. Here at the USA inside the area, and the USA have the first goal. Alessandro Canale with a strike of the left foot into the far corner. What a start for the United States. It actually was Conor Rezende from the left-hand side there, number eight. Rezende opens his account in this tournament and Medina beaten, had protection in Pena, but he couldn't get to it. 1-0 US. Calero heading back to Medina. Calero dangerous off either foot. Here's Pacheco, the captain who's seen so much of the ball so far. Low scoring tournament based on the standards of Raven Pacheco and what he has set. Just two goals. For the 37 year old. Here he is now. Good pass here, Silvera, Silvera inside the area, good save Medina. Silvera looking for his fourth of the tournament, not to be. Nice strike. Good save, low down to the right hand side. Nick Pereira, the leading goal scorer for the United States. 110 goals in his career. Here he is, look out for his overhead kick. Perfect. Art. Here he is. Uh, there's a tackle coming in. And that would be a handball. Executes the overhead kick very well. Does Nick career, but he'll be heading to the bench. Close mark. On this occasion by the captain who knows him very well, Pacheco. And he handled it as well for here, Pereira. Free kick, Costa Rica. Lunes Calero. Calero over the top. He gets the rest as well. Not easy to get around these sands here. Good strike, but over the top from top. 1-0 USA, the goal, score, goal scored by Conor Rizende, the USA number eight. Seven minutes to go in the first period. Canale coming off the bench. Good chance. They are trying to catch goalkeeper Medina out of position, but he did well. Whistle on the play. And Alessandro Canale committed the foul off the ball. The official is not happy with that at all. Hopefully Batista just letting him know how it's going to be. Alessandro Canale. Will be a free kick to Costa Rica in their own half. Good 
the winner of this quarterfinal to play against the winner of El Salvador, Guatemala, which comes up after this. Francis Ferberoff, the, cap, the coach of the United States. The last time the United States won in 2013, Ferberoff was a, a player in that squad. They actually had a pretty good time playing against Costa Rica as well. Two goals in this time, the U.S. coach. Scored in a 4-3 semi-final win in 2013, as we see a foul on the play. And also in the 7-5 third place win in 2011, Francis Farberoff. Free kick USA. Right from outside the area, good connection, but wide of the target from Gomez. Here's Chavez, who has come on to the beach. The United States have boasted nine scorers in their squad thus far from their complement. Of 12, good strike coming off the woodwork. Alviston out for a corner. Canale, they are very close to adding his third of the tournament. Canale! 2 0 USA. Alessandro Canale with his third of the tournament moments ago had one that came off rocketed off the woodwork but this time he just places it past the right hand side of Justin Medina Albiston with the ball inside here Canale with a bit of space utilizing his strength and low center of gravity the Canale and making the most of it around Daniel Pena USA off to a good start, 2-0 in the first period. Shot from outside the area, way over the top. From Silvera. from Pereira and that's a foul and Costa Rica are going to have a free kick in a dangerous position Roger Mora who's come on four goals so far Roger Mora good kick off the ball and you'll have an opportunity here yeah bad tackle by Nick Pereira Here's one of the goal scorers for the United States, Conor Rezende. So, Mora against Todd. Roger Mora, 2-1. Roger Mora has a handful in the tournament. That was a very good free kick off the right upright as well. And Costa Rica are right back into this one now. Chris Toth not even making a, a real attempt. He was beaten for pace. And Roger Mora, yeah. 
into the corner with the right foot. Good finish. He's a good tactician. Tuck. Good. Yeah. And 2 1 now to the USA. Good skill there by Silvera looking for the foul, nothing doing. And that shot from Calero is just wide. It was deflected, so there will be a corner. Strike from outside the area, wide. Costa Rica seeing more of the ball now. They have got a goal, and they are looking a lot more confident. Christian Prado with a strike on that occasion. Christoph, good strike on target, but blocked. Just under three minutes to go in the first period. There they are. Calero. Jonathan Sanchez trying to execute, but it's blocked. There's a whistle on the play. No penalty. And the referee says he wants none of that kind of play from Calero and Rezende. Shot. Why? Just about two minutes to go in the first period. Canale and Olesende for the United States. Roger Mora for Costa Rica. Build up here from Costa Rica. Pacheco over the top. Raven Pacheco. Most decorated scorer for Costa Rica at this level. He's already had four goals against the United States. A hat trick in 2021. And he had another way back in 2013 in the semi finals. He's been around a long time. That shot is wide of the target. From Connor is in there. Under a minute to go. Pacheco just taking his time. Trying to pull the United States players out of position. Dina Pacheco. Oh, Pacheco and Calero. Costa Rica are level. Lourdes Calero. The ball deflecting off the sand. Very difficult for Chris Todd. And the championship's leading goal scorer adds yet another. It's 9 now for the Costa Rica number seven. Medina White to Pacheco, the ball took an awkward bounce, 
and Lunis Calero was alert to it and that left-footed finish one of the simpler goals he scored in this tournament 2-2 Two -two. Sixteen seconds to go. Barrera. Respect him. Deflection. And appeals to handball. It's as if it came off the chest though. And that will be that for the first period. There goes the horn. Luni Scalero finding the equalizer after Roger Mora pulled one back for them earlier. Conor Rezende and Alessandro Canale, the goal scorer for the United States. For the second period, Costa Rica in their red and blue with the kickoff. We're all square after 12 minutes. U.S. taking a two-goal lead, and Costa Rica soaring back. Calero and Mora for Costa Rica. Rosende and Canale for the USA. Second period of three. Each 12 minutes long. There will be a there is a three-minute interval in between. No draws in 
B soccer, although this is a knockout stage, so that wouldn't apply anyhow. Good shot on target from Chris Todd. And it's saved by Medina. If after those three periods we're still square, there will be three minutes of extra time. And if the deadlock can't be broken, we head to penalties to decide the winner. Quarter final one in these 2023 Beach Soccer Championships from CONCACAF. Just driving forward. Had a good pass from Franco. Franco on target. Uh, Medina. Hands were a bit awkward at, uh, on that occasion. Not positioned very well, but he got the job done. Might have some more work to do now. Albiston does favor the left hand side and that shot was well blocked. Here's Albiston again, did score in that 5 4 loss in 2021. Corner USA. Carvalho. Goal kick. Chance USA. Mm. Ricardo Carvalho getting inside the area. He himself has scored twice so far. Look like it might have come off the hand there of Carvalho. Officials said no. That header is wide from Nick Pereira. Vera into Pereira. Pereira will look for the overhead kick, I can assure you, but he is well defended. Excellent defending from Roger Mora. Ooh, that shot from Graven Pacheco is wide. Pereira being closely marked here. The brilliant technician of the overhead kick, and he scored quite a few. Not to mention six in these championships. Shot over the top from Toth. Toth, another one of those goal scorers in the 5 4 loss in 2021 in the group stages, the last time these two played. And that one is off the crossbar from Medina. And quite a lackadaisical attempt by Chris Toth. To save it I'm not sure if he thought it was going over but it came off the underneath of the crossbar and very lucky to get away with it look at this strike here from Medina nice with the right boot hasn't scored so far in the tournament tough I'm not sure what he was thinking or if he was unsighted because of Calero but the United States lucky Oh, 
Both these teams looking for a place in the final four. Coming off the hand of Silvera, free kick to Costa Rica. Calero, wide. Silvera doesn't get his feet right. Tackled by Pereira. Now the USA have a break. Chance for Silvera. And Silvera loses control of it. Not easy to dribble on the sand. And there you saw a perfect example. Resende and Silvera just unable to move the ball forward with fluency. Much easier for the ball to travel in the air. Here's Medina. Blocked. 2-2. Two -two. And we are more than halfway through the second period. Just over 80 degrees. Here at the Malcolm Park Beach facility. Lovely breeze across the ground. Very breezy conditions generally in Nassau. We're seeing winds of up to 16 miles per hour today. And that will help to keep the players cool. Here is Medina. He's already hit the crossbar once, Medina, but that one was too high. Look like it might have come off the hand of Pereira, but the officials say no. Then Pereira inside the area. Pereira looking for the overhead kick. And Pacheco says not today. And yeah, that one is a miss kick. They've done a good job on Nick Pereira in these first two periods. We haven't seen one overhead kick thus far. From a man who has already scored 110 goals in his B soccer career, the 36 year old Nick Pereira. Here goes Medina, or oh, Toth, I should say, to Albiston. Albiston with the right foot, good save. This was a shot from Albiston on his weaker right side, and Medina got his body behind it. Calero. No foul, say the officials. Albiston looking for Canale, but the pass was behind him. A 
The Costa Rican spectators are not happy at all. That was a challenge on Calero, and then he, he did land awkwardly. When he landed here, it had nothing to do with the challenge, but more to do with how his foot landed in the sand, and looked like he might have slightly twisted his knee, Calero. The Costa Rican supporters are adamant that it should have been a free kick. But the officials say no. No goals in the second period so far. 2-2 two, two the scoreline. Goals from Mora and Calero for Costa Rica. Resende and Canale for the USA. There is Mora playing the ball back to his keeper Medina. Nice chip over the top there. Finding Canale who's looking to get on the score sheet again. Chance inside the area, Costa Rica, good save, Chris Toth. Excellent save. This is a tight battle. Ooh, that's a bad challenge by Roger Mora. He's going to go into the book for that. The US players are telling him to leave their teammate alone. And he gets a yellow card, Mora. A challenge coming in on Chavez and he was definitely high Mora just over a minute or just under two minutes to go in the second period and the United States have a free kick deep in the area who will get the go-ahead goal first? That is a longer turf, but wide. That was a bit dangerous from Christian Sanchez. Tough. Canale turns well. Canale in the area. And that will be a corner. There's too much on that corner from Albiston. Christopher Albiston. Nice strike. But top was equal to the task. And then releases early. Finds Albiston. Albiston on the right foot. Well blocked by Jonathan Sanchez. Looking inside here, oh, what a save that was from Medina. Oh, and that's a poor challenge. That was crazy from Franco. And he goes into the book. Not sure what Alvaro Franco was thinking there. But that was a, a poor reaction from the USA number two. Inside the area, it was Franco Medina with it save initially and then that year uh, not even looking nowhere near the ball and i'm not sure why his left foot was in the face of
Justin Medina. And luckily for Medina, no damage done. Franco goes into the book. Twenty five seconds to go in the second period. Two time champions. The USA two. Two time finalist Costa Rica two. They take it short. Pacheco way over the top from the Costa Rican captain. Ten seconds to go in the second period. We're all locked at two. No goals in the second period. And there's a whistle on the plate. Carvalho with it. Back injury, it seems. As a word to the referee as well. And that's it. There goes the horn for the second period. No goals in it in the second period. We are still locked at two after 24 minutes. It's a keen battle in quarterfinal one. Both these teams looking for a spot in the 2023 semifinals.
represents the United States in indoor soccer as well, futsal. And he's quite a businessman himself, in fact. He was the executive of O.L. Reen in the National Women's Soccer League in the United States. For well, the general manager was Nick Pereira. So, diverse, the American captain, to say the least. He hasn't been able to find any goals here today, though. He has been well marked by the Costa Ricans. Costa Rica, and there's a go-ahead goal. And no surprise, it's the captain, Gervin Pacheco, who has already scored four goals before this against the USA. Make that five. And Costa Rica have a 3-2 advantage. The 2009 and 2015 finalists. Nice pass over the top from Medina. The chest trap, and then the right foot to finish into the sand, and an awkward bounce, getting the better of Chris Todd. 3-2 Costa Rica, we are in the third and final period. Here we go, chance USA. Over the top, what a chance for Nicholas Perrier. But he can't find the target. The USA won all three of their group games. 11-1 over the Dominican Republic, 6-2 over Trinidad and Tobago, and 5-1 against Panama. This is the first time that they have trailed. Big lead for Costa Rica, lovely skill there from Sanchez. Sanchez, just wide of the post. Jonathan Sanchez. Sanchez has been around for some time. He scored a hat-trick in 2011 in the third place playoff against the US and then scored a brace in 2011 as well. They met twice that year in the group stages and in the third place playoff. And Sanchez managed five goals. He also scored in the 5-4 win in 2021. So not to be taken lightly, Sanchez. He likes this fixture. Nine minutes to go in quarterfinal one, and Nick Pereira, his first probably opportunity, and he frustrated the American captain. He's been well marked by the Costa Rican contingent. That looks like a foul for sure. Will be a free kick. Christian Prado. Shoved over. Still on the sand. It's Christian Prado. He will have a free kick. He's already scored twice in the tournament. The Central Americans lead by three goals to two. Over the American contingent that would have come in as slight favorites. Prado off target.
Well, was that a foul? That was a close call there for Costa Rica. Here goes Canale. Nice pass. And that is put off target. There was a stretch coming in there from Cody Valcarcel. Just over eight minutes to go. Overhead kick. Nice attempt by Canale. Free kick Costa Rica. He brought the best out of Medina. This overhead kick from Alessandro Canale looking for a second in the match. And that was a good save with the left hand low down by Medina. It wasn't a strong hand, more the fingertips, but it was enough to keep it out. Medina still down. Costa Rica. Part of Central America. Over 5 million, their population in Costa Rica. Of course, their capital, San Jose. And their official language, Spanish. The country with heavy rainforest. Costa Rica, one of the things they are known for. Very rugged, their terrain. They are leading the United States by three goals to two. The United States were runner-ups in 2021. Beaten 6-4 by El Salvador and this will be a big deal for them if they are to go out at the quarter-final stage they have a free kick though Carvalho on target, good save Medina, that was a very awkward bounce for Justin Medina and he got down really well inside, chance again Medina's had a good game A good attempt from Mora over the top though. Here is Pereira. Pereira has a quiet game for his standards, but not the kind of player that you can give space. Nicholas Pereira. It's well wide. Halfway through the third and final period. And Costa Rica, based on the scoreline, are on their way to the semi-finals of the 2023 B-Soccer Cha Co 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 Championship. Over the top. Yet again from the Americans.
Broken up. Pacheco. Good strike. Well saved top. And that pass is too much. Too much on that pass. This was a strike from Pacheco. The scorer of the third goal. King in the palms of Toss. Chavez White. Five minutes to go in quarter final one. The winner of this to play the winner of El Salvador and Guatemala, which will be quarter final two. Lots of changes come in. El Salvador, uh, the defending champions. Costa Rica would have been disappointed with their performance in the 2021 championship, where they only finished seventh at home as a host. When they lost in the quarterfinals to Guatemala 6 4. to Christian Prado it's going to be a corner to the United States Silvera with a shot and the USA have the equalizer just like that and Gabriel Silvera draws the Americans level his fourth of the tournament from the corner game on yet again USA 3 Costa Rica 3 Nick Perrier, Canale with the shot that was blocked. And Gabriel Silvera on the follow-up all along the sand. Medina beaten. 3-3. Three, three. Just over four minutes to go in the third and final period. Calero. Leading goal scorer, he has nine in the tournament, Calero. He scored the second goal for his team today. He would love to get some more. Here's a chance now, Canale. Chance here. Silvero over the top. Silvero into the back of the net. And Gabriel Silvera in the space of one minute he has scored two goals and the USA after trailing 3-2 are now 4-3 ahead wow the American number 10 who has scored the most goals in the last three years for the US team finds two in quick succession and five on the tournament for the American number 10 Look at that, how calm he was in just placing that over Medina. Very composed and nice touch as well. Gabriel Silvera. 4-3 USA. Here they go again and just a really good period this for the USA team, putting the pressure on Costa Rica.
shot. Oh, that's a goal. Way well square again. Medina. Didn't look like that shot would have caused much problems for Chris Todd. But two bounces off the sandwich were very awkward and the ball deviating in the favor of the Costa Ricans. Medina, his first of the tournament. And Costa Rica are all square. Look at that. It was actually just one bounce off the sand. But what a deviation it was. Toth was going to his right. The ball went to his left. Costa Rica all square. 4-4. Four, four. And Medina, the eighth scorer for Costa Rica in these championships. Free kick Costa Rica. Gomez will take it. Canale is not happy with it. He is backing off now though. Pacheco over the top. Just over three minutes to go. 4-4 four, four the score. If we're all square, remember we go to three minutes of extra time. And if necessary, penalties. Which consists of five kickers each. The yellow flags you see on either side of the field denote the penalty area for each team. The red flags in the middle by the official on the far side, the center flag. And image, imaginary spot in there, in the middle, the center spot. Goalkeeper after si collecting in his hands has four seconds to release it from his area two captains of battle hard two veterans in the sport Raven Pacheco who is 37 and Nick Pereira who is 36 Chris Toth was around in 2013 when the USA won their last title both himself Nick Pereira and their coach Francis Ferberoff were a part of that 2013 team that won right here in the Bahamas. And that's a foul from Canale and he needs to be careful Canale. Alessandro Canale goes into the book. Here goes Pereira. Nice pass for Resende. It's off the post onto the keeper and into the back of the net. It probably actually will go down as an own goal against Medina. The initial shot off the keeper onto the post and back off of him into the goal. They all count. 
USA now lead 5-4. Here's a shot from Lezende. Look at this here. Good strike off the post. Onto the keeper and into the net. It's an own goal. He won't care though, Conor Lezende. Because the USA have the lead. Five four. That's a foul from Chavez. And free kick to Costa Rica. They have work to do and just over a minute to go. Costa Rica haven't been to the semi-finals since 2015 when they went all the way to the final and lost to Mexico. So yeah, in danger of going out yet again at the quarter-final stage. Strike wide. The USA have been to three out of the last four semi-finals. They're about to make it four out of five. Here is Pacheco. No foul. Alviston. Good tackle. USA lead this head to head 5 2 over Costa Rica. And they're about to make it six. Just over 30 seconds to go. And the two time champions are on the verge of booking their spot in the semi finals for 2023. They came in as slight favorites, and they have the slight advantage as well. 15 seconds. Costa Rica have to hustle. Well, there's a chance here. And it, is it a foul? Well, the officials, well, no. Roger Moro inside the area. He's having a lot to say to the referee, but he's not going to get a penalty. Chris Toth is adamant that he didn't do anything. He went for the ball, which it seemed as if he palmed. This is a moment. Uh, not sure there's much in that. Toth goes for the ball. He actually does make contact with the ball and then the head after of Mora. But I don't think there was much in that at all from the American goalkeeper. And fair call. He definitely make contact with the ball first. Three seconds to go. Lonis Calero. And that will be it. The United States of America are into the semifinals yet again. They beat Costa Rica and Lonis Calero, the tournament's leading goal scorer, by five goals to four. It was a keen battle. Costa Rica led 3-2 for a long time. But the Americans came roaring back. A nine-goal thriller. The Americans come out on top. They're in the semifinals of the 2023 CONCACAF Beach Soccer Championships. Costa Rica, unfortunately for them, are out. 5-4 at full time.